The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. struck again. You know, this would make a great picture for the cover of Better Homes and Dumps. Chris, Jerry, I want to see you. Sherman, I want him to see you, too. You know, it's funny. Chris and Jerry get A's for neatness in school. So does Sherman. But apparently the strain is too much. The minute they walk through that front door, all their suppressed sloppiness breaks out. Did you want us for something? I most certainly do. Will you look at this room? What's the matter? It. What's the matter with it? Look at all that mess and junk. That's not mess and junk. Those are our things. Exactly. They're your things and they're scattered all over the room. Now, how does this look? It looks lived in. <laughs> now, I want every one of you to get down here, get your own things and put them where they belong. On the double. Goodness sake. Oh, honestly, this room looks just like a pig pen. I'd be embarrassed to death if a friend walked in. Friend, I'd be embarrassed if a pig walked in. <laughs> Hurry up now. Get all those things where they belong. Jerry, those are yours. Pick them up. Oh. Well, now it's beginning to look a little better. If you say so. And I said so. Come on. <laughs> it's an awful lot of trouble to go through just for a friend or a pig. Okay, now, <laughs> It's not just to be neat, it's for safety's sake. Do you realize if somebody walked in here and slipped and fell that Aunt Lucy could be sued? Really? Oh, yes, sir. The owner of a house is liable for accident. She could be sued for every cent she's got. Oh, Viv. Now, Lucy, I mean this. This is serious. Well, luckily, nobody ever comes in here but our friends. They wouldn't sue us. Don't you be too sure. Where money is concerned, friends can get very funny. Well... <laughs> Say, speaking of money, Viv. I know, I know. I'm behind in my rent. I'm sorry, girl, but Ralph's behind in his alimony, too. Yeah, well, I hate to nag about it, but the bills are piling up. I owe the butcher, the baker, and if I don't pay the light bill, I owe the candlestick maker. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucy. I've been looking for the check every day. It'll be along any day now, I'm sure. I just hate to ask Mr. Barnstall for an advance on my allotment. Yeah, I know it. It's kind of a sprain or something, I think. What's oh. wrong, Mom? Oh, no, nothing now, Sherman, dear. I, I just took a little fall, a little spill. Is it broken? Oh. No, honey, nothing's broken. Oh. What's happened to fall, Aunt Viv? Oh, I, I slipped on Jerry's little racing car. Thanks, I wondered where that was. Oh, you did. I hope that this has taught all of you a lesson about picking up your toys. Now, Aunt Viv might really have been hurt. Yeah. Should we call Dr. Parker? Oh, yeah. I don't think that'll be necessary. No, I think I better, Viv. Well, is Aunt Viv gonna shoo you, Mom? <laughs> of course not. Sue her. Good friends don't sue each other. What oh. a silly thing to say. Huh? <laughs> there. Is everything all right? Fine, just fine. Oh, hi, Mr. Barnes doll. I was on my way to the bank. I saw Doc Parker leaving. You sick? No, no, it's Viv. She fell and hurt her foot. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. Bagley. Was it serious? Well, the doctor says it's just a sprain. He won't have to shoot me. 
That's very funny. Uh, would you care for a cup of coffee, Mr. Barnstall? Uh, no, thanks. I haven't got time. Oh, yeah. Come on. Have a cup of coffee. Uh, you work too much. You, you never slow down. All you do is work, work, work. A cup of coffee will never bother you. Come on. Get up any time for a cup of coffee. I just want to ask you something in private. Is my liability insurance paid up? You don't have liability insurance. We let it lapse. <laughs> you are in charge of my affairs. Why would you do a dumb thing like that? Because when I told you it came due last year, you said, and I quote, oh, poo. <laughs> well, maybe I'm worrying for nothing. I no sense getting myself in a tizzy. What are you talking about? Well, Jerry left his little racing car in there on the floor of the pantry, and Viv slipped on it and fell. Let me get this straight. Do you mean that your son carelessly left his toy on the floor of the pantry of your house, and Mrs. Bagley fell and hurt herself? That's right. Go ahead. Get yourself in a tizzy. You mean I've really got something to worry about? That woman in there can sue you for everything you've got. Your house, your furniture, your clothes. Oh. Well, Vivian Bagley's my oldest and dearest friend. She wouldn't... Where money is concerned, friends can get very funny. <laughs> That's strange. What is? That's exactly what my oldest and dearest friend said just a few minutes ago. Aha! <laughs> I told you so. She's probably been waiting all these years for the opportunity to take you to the cleaners. Oh, I can't believe it. There's one way to make sure. Get her to sign a release promising not to sue. Oh, I couldn't do a thing like that. Well, why not? If Mrs. Bagley is such a friend as you say she is, she won't object to signing a release. Well... All right. Well, I'll write out a simple release form, and you can get her to sign it right now. Hello, Mr. Bender. This is Vivian Bagley. I hate to bother you big lawyers with my small problems, you know, but I'm afraid you're going to have to get after Ralph again. He's behind with my alimony check. Well, this month it's pretty urgent because I just had a little accident, and I think I'm going to have some medical expenses. Broke my foot. <laughs> well, you're my lawyer. I'll take your advice. What do you advise? <laughs> All right, I'll sue. <laughs> I told her she's on the phone to her attorney. She said she's going to sue. I told you so. When they smell money, friendship goes out the window. But you've got to get her to sign that release. But how am I going to get her to sign it if she's already decided to sue? Get back in there and butter her up. And while you're reminding her of your wonderful friendship, shove a pen in her hand and get her to sign that release. <laughs> well, Mrs. Bagley, I must say, you're looking much better already. Thanks. Well, I'll have to run along now and leave you dear friends to have a friendly chat. Uh, ta-ta. <laughs> what did you put in his coffee? <laughs> oh, nothing. Viv, honey, uh, I'd like to talk to you. Uh, dear, uh, how long have we known each other? Well, we met in the waves. The waves, that's it. We were swabbies together, standing side by side in the uniform of our country. Shipmates stand together, don't give up the ship. Fair or stormy weather, we won't give up, we won't give up, we won't give up the ship. Lucy, what brought that on? <laughs> well, Viv, I... Could I put your foot over here and just sit down a minute? Uh-huh. You know, honey, I, I was just thinking about... Our friendship, you know, you and me and how long we've known each other. And I just never told you how much your friendship means to me. 
friends like us would never want to make the other one unhappy, you know? And we'd never, we'd never have a fight, or we'd never be mean to each other, or we'd never sue each other, or, or oh, we'd say, never Lucy, have... Lucy, what? speaking of suing, my lawyer says I'm going to have to sue Ralph for my back alimony. Oh, that's what you were talking about on the phone. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? Nothing, nothing. Why should I think anything? Wait a minute. Swabby shipmates stand together. Good friends that never sue. Lucy! Did you think I was going to sue you? No! <laughs> Hope not. Oh, I should hope Why, not. Why, Lucy? No. I, Vivian Bagley, hereby weigh that. <laughs> Lucy, this is a release. You did too think I was going to sue you. How could you think a thing like that? Well, you were the first one to talk about suing when we were picking up the kids' toys, and you were talking about suing on the telephone. How do I know that that telephone call was about your alimony? Well, if that's all you think of my friendship, and if that's all you think of my honesty, I am going to sue you. Oh, you wouldn't. Oh, wouldn't I? Viv, you sure you don't want to sign that? You're darn right I am. But as long as she keeps threatening to sue, I'm going to keep making like Florence Nightingale. Do you really think she's going to sue you? Well, all I know is if I don't jump every time she rings that bell, she starts to dial her attorney. <laughs> Lucy! I'm ready for my lunch now. I'll be up in a minute, Viv. Can I take that up for you? No, honey. Thanks a lot, but apparently the only thing that eases her pain is the sound of me tramping up and down those stairs. <laughs> By now, my legs think I'm halfway up Mount Everest. Oh, well, Mom, I'm going ice skating with the kids. Will you pick us up later? Well, that all depends on what time Tinkerbell lets me off duty. <laughs> Bring me the morning paper when you come up, dear. I'd like to know what's going on in the outside world. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Lucy! <laughs> Would you bring my typewriter, too, dear? I want to answer my get well card. All right. My knitting dear. It's somewhere there in the living room where I left it.
patient, but you know how important food is to us shut-ins. <laughs> it's really all we have to look forward to. Uh, would you please put that over here on the bed where it'll be handy for me to dial? <laughs> Right there. <laughs> right in there, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Lucy? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy! What now? You forgot to plump me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, a little more, a little more. I'm plumping, I'm plumping. <laughs> what now? Would you please cut my meat? <laughs> oh, come on, Viv. You hurt your foot, not your hand. I wonder if my attorney is... I'll cut it, I'll cut it, I'll cut it. <laughs> Later on this afternoon, I think you ought to change the water in all my flowers, will you, dear? Oh, it was so sweet of Mr. Barnsdall to send them all. Yeah, sweet. Lima beans. When you mentioned beans, I thought you meant string beans. But lima beans are your favorite. Well, I'm just not in the mood for lima beans today. I want string beans. Well, I'm sorry. I'll go down and get a needle and thread and string them for you. <laughs> I'll get the beans. Don't call your lawyer. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi. How's your poor, poor foot? Oh, I think it's going to get well today. Really? Yes, I want to get my hair done this afternoon. You gonna let Aunt Lucy off the hook? Right after I eat this lunch, I'm going to march downstairs and tell her. Say, Mom, couldn't you have just pretended to sue Aunt Lucy without staying in bed and letting her wait on you? Well, I could have pretended, but it wouldn't have been nearly as much fun. <laughs> <laughs> How's the patient today? I don't think you'll need your flowers. Why not? I have a hunch she's recovered. What makes you think so? A little barefoot bird just told me. What? <laughs> just a minute ago, I heard footsteps up there coming from her room, and I'm positive it was the rare yellow tufted faker. <laughs> Listen, there they are again. You hear that? And Vivian Bagley is the only one upstairs. Wait a minute. You haven't actually seen her on her feet, have you? No. Well, then the fact that you heard her footsteps doesn't mean a thing. You've got to see her walking. Well, I'll catch her walking. And when I do, I'm going to give her a bill for my services as a private nurse at $30 a day. <laughs> Not to mention what a pillow plumper gets. <laughs> sit down. You sit down and wait for me. Just stay here. I'm sorry, I was so late, but Mr. Barnsdall came in. I had to talk to him. Oh, that's all right. I finished my lunch without them. <laughs> oh. Don't you want them? No, thank you. Would you please take the tray away? <laughs> oh, uh, Viv, uh -huh. I, I think I'll go in town for a while. Oh? Uh, yeah, I I'll be gone about an hour. Okay. Or maybe more. Okay. <laughs> See you later, about an hour or more.
more kids. <laughs> well, now, if you're going into town, dear, why do you need the telephone book? Uh, I want to sit on it. Uh, the, 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 the seat, glow. I, I can't see over the wheel. Uh -huh. I'll uh, see you later. Uh-huh. Lucy. What? Before you go, would you bring me up a cup of tea, please? <laughs> Certainly, dear. <laughs> Any luck? No. Boy, she's one of the unbudgeables. <laughs> Maybe we made a mistake and she's not faking. I better try the flowers again. No. Wait a minute. I haven't played my trump card. What's that? Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance.
be married. Oh! oh what a mess! Oh, my. It looks like our three little litter bugs struck again. You know, this would make a great picture for the cover of Better Homes and Dumps. Chris, Jerry, I want to see you! Sherman, I want him to see you, too. You know, it's funny. Chris and Jerry get A's for neatness in school. So does Sherman. But apparently the strain is too much. The minute they walk through that front door, all their suppressed sloppiness breaks out. Did you want us for something? I most certainly do. Will you look at this room? What's the matter with it? <laughs> What's the matter with it? Look at all that mess and junk. That's not mess and junk. Those are our things. Exactly. They're your things, and they're scattered all over the room. Now, how does this look? It looks lived in. <laughs> to get down here, get your own things, and put them where they belong. On the double. Goodness sake. Oh, honestly, this room looks just like a pig pen. I'd be embarrassed to death if a friend walked in. Friend? I'd be embarrassed if a pig walked in. <laughs> Hurry up now. Get all those things where they belong. Jerry, those are yours. Pick them up. Oh. Well, now it's beginning to look a little better. If you say so. And I said so. Come on. <laughs> it's an awful lot of trouble to go through just for a friend or a pig. Look at that. It's not just to be neat. It's for safety's sake. Do you realize if somebody walked in here and slipped and fell that Aunt Lucy could be sued? <laughs> 